Hey YouTube, this is Ace Pinkster. So, I want to talk about layers, what they are, what they do, how you can use them to get a lot of creativity in your work. Now, basically, a layer is just a handle for controlling more than one instrument at a time. Okay? I've got two sets of keys here. They sound exactly the same. I'm going to change one so that the root note is one octave higher. Or When I create a layer, I have these two buttons here, Set Children and Show Children. By selecting the instruments, by green lighting them, I can then choose to set children. They now become a part of this layer. And when I press a key, you see it triggers both instruments. That's it. That's the whole magic of layers. Now how you use them is where things get interesting. Uh, I'll talk about the buttons that you got here. The, the random button will choose a random instrument uh, from your layers you don't get any choice over it All right. and the crossfader will allow you to mix between them now keep in mind the crossfader is not limited to two instruments it will divide this fader knob up amongst all the instruments in your layer so if I play that was a layer with five instruments and I have five distinct sounds Cool, huh? All right. Um, now let's talk about some of the really cool stuff you can do here with layers. This involves going to the functions tab. If you haven't played around in this functions tab, you're really missing out. So I'm going to show you basically uh, and, and quickly what this does. The echo delay mode up here allows me to play multiple notes with one key press. All right. So this is a C. Now I'm going to echo that C. It plays it twice, but it's not. It's not the same as an audio delay. All right, we're we're delaying it in MIDI, so it's actually sending the note twice, it's sending the note signal twice, and I can change all of these parameters that affect the MIDI. So the relative strength will be about 80%. It's going to pan a little bit to one side, and I'm going to drop the pitch of that second note by 500 cents, which is a perfect fifth. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. So anytime I press a key, it's going to play that note dropped by a fifth. Now that number of echoes we have here determines how many times this pattern or this function is going to repeat. So with 10, you guys can understand that. So I want one echo, one perfect fifth down. Uh, the delay is fine, I guess, at, at three steps. And actually, I'm going to turn it up and get it almost as, almost the same hardness. Now I'm going to go to another key here. Uh, this one's going to be a little different. I'm going to raise the pitch by 700 cents each time. It's going to play it twice, and it will sound like this. All right. Simple. Now here, I'm not only using the the delay here to give me one octave apart, but I'm also going to use this arpeggiator. And the arpeggiator is going to give us a pretty complex sound. The arpeggiator by itself will sound like this. Right. Simple. Now, I've chosen to work with suspended chords. Whenever I do automatic arpeggiation, I almost always go for the suspended chords. And a suspended chord is really nothing more than a chord that lacks a major or a minor note. All right, It doesn't have a giveaway as to whether it's a major or a minor chord. That means it should theoretically work with both major and minor chords. So I choose suspended chords because the computer can't screw it up. So I'm going to apply this arpeggiator and I'm going to give us a nice delay which is going to change the pitch. Now what you'll notice about this is that the arpeggiator will play for each of these delays. Let's try that with a few of those. Now be careful with these functions. With too many MIDI signals going at once, 
on a complex instrument, you can really overwhelm your processor. Processor. Anyway, now that I've got all three of these, I'm going to use my layer to make them into children. Once again, the way you do this, bring up your layer panel, use the right mouse button, select all your instruments, and choose Set Children. That officially makes them part of the layer. So now when I press a single key, I get all of this. And I can play that in any key. That's pretty easy. Uh, definitely songwriting for dummies here. Um, I, can, I can make the instruments do most of the work themselves, and I'm free to do all kinds of experimentation with the individual instruments while they're playing to make them sound different. I can pan them. I can pan them to different sides to gain some stereo separation. I can apply effects to one of these pianos within the layer. And I might find by using just a minute. The studio screwing up on me. You might find that you really like uh, the way these instruments work together, and you don't have to use just pianos. I'll just use that for an example. You can experiment with different timings, different instruments, just to see how they go together. will come out. I just wanted to show you this because it happens to be one of my new favorite features of Studio and uh, another really useful thing is to combine envelope controllers in with your layers. You can use these to control something like a global filter uh, that would affect all the instruments within the layer and would be triggered every time you press the key. Very cool. Alright, that's all I got. A sphincter out. <laughs>